Hello everyone. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> I'm glad to be here too. I tell you, I've been on Earth Changes channel putting up some videos and going over the flooding as well as tornadoes. And well, in this video we, we're going to look at three different rocks. I tried to get this video up yesterday and I could not. I was extremely busy. We're going to look at 2021 F01, which is 5 meters, approximately 16 feet, and the lunar distance is 0 0.8. That's approximately 191,000 miles. And then we're going to look at 2021 FH, which is 16 meters. That's approximately 52 feet, and it is approximately 143,000 miles. Then we're going to look at 2021 FP2, which is 9 meters, approximately 9 feet, and we're going to look at all of these, and that particular one, is about 191,000 miles as well. But a very interesting rock that does not have any classification that came into the atmosphere just a couple of days ago. It came out of nowhere and it burned up from what I understand. It was not a meteor. It was a rock, ladies and gentlemen. And NASA, the Jet Propulsion Laboratories, as well as the European Space Agency, did not catch the rock. They can only see 30% from what they say. So we're going to go over it. and But also, we're going to look at these three rocks. But what is interesting about the asteroid that came into our atmosphere would you believe it had a spacecraft in front of it yes it did also we're going to look at 2021 fp2 that is approximately 191,000 miles but it is only three meters and that's approximately nine feet but what's interesting in this video, there is a rock that no one saw. No one. And it was a rock, ladies and gentlemen. It was not a meteor. And what's so interesting about this, it had a UFO flying in front of it. So we're going to be checking that out and going over a few rocks that I'm not concerned about but as you know I'm concerned about the debris field we're also going to go to spaceweather.com we're going to look at the auroras and how many meteors that will be coming in so here we are we landed on spaceweather.com be sure you have your space suit on but we are going to go through this website briefly as you can see it talks about the auroras that are taking place and we have a small CME that's coming in tonight and it's coming in Wednesday night so this is going to increase the auroras are always beautiful amazing really it's like a gift from God, I guess, a beautiful painting. And this location here on the website, all you got to do is click on and it will show you the orbit diagram dealing with not the rocks, not the meteors. I'm going to say orbit diagram because it, it basically is in an orbit, but not in space. It's inside our atmosphere and it will show how it will take effect throughout the northern hemisphere also we have a very large corona hole 
that is leaving Earth. But we have this particular one, and these two will be approaching in the next two days. I'm keeping a very, very close eye on it. And we have 16, approximately 16 fireballs coming in. You may not be able to see. I will blow this up in just a minute. This is the sun. This is planet Earth, and you can see all of the indications. So, before we get started, I want to go down through here. This is 0.2 lunar distance that came in. I was not concerned, okay, because it's 3 meters. And I was not concerned with it. It came in on the 20th. I think we would look at it because it's extremely close. And this is the 23rd. We're going to be focusing on these three right here. I'm going to zoom in on them in just a minute. But I wanted you to look at the schedule. I don't see anything. Right? Do you? I don't. Okay. But I do see these three. And I don't see much coming in any closer. But that rock I'm talking about no one knew it was coming no agency saw it so here they are all three of them back to back and I guarantee it they're gonna be connected to the Apollos which were coming in early I'm not very concerned even about this one here which is 0 0.6 lunar distance and as I stated that's hundred and forty three thousand miles but it is 16 meters. That's approximately 52 feet. So we are going to check them out. But before we do, let's check out the auroras. Before we get started, I want to check out the auroras because they're so beautiful. And this is for the Aurora forecast from NOAA Space Weather Prediction Center. But as you can see, as the sun goes down, it's going to go right over Ontario. Now, Julie has been waiting on this. Sister Julie, let us know. And if you can, take some photography. But look at this. And it's going to go almost down to Wisconsin as well as Minnesota but as it moves forward Alaska is going to get it look at that so the people in Alaska is going to see it and then it's going to go over to the Switzerland as well as the UK parts of the UK I want to back this up and let's see it again now this is a 24 hour so it may change so let's see there's Sweden no maybe I don't think so Ireland Scotland the UK so I don't think that's gonna happen but I just thought you might want to check this out because you know the roars are so beautiful I've never seen one I've just seen the videos and photography of it and it is truly amazing I thought I would touch on the Sun not touch the Sun touch on the Sun this right here the corona hole has opened up it was very large yesterday it was approximately in this whole area we have another one that will be facing us today and this is the center of the ecliptic or the plane of our solar system so anything that is in this region here I would be concerned these two will be coming in in the next couple of days I'm keeping my eye on them but when they eject they're going out into that direction okay same thing with this one when it ejects it's not gonna come out to earth it's going to go upward because of the circumference. It's 
going to go upward. Approximately that angle. These right here will be approximately this angle. Both of them. Now, it can change, ladies and gentlemen. I'm keeping an eye out on it. Tonight, the 23rd of tonight, we're going to get a small CME impact that will be small. Another one will be here Wednesday. So there's going to be ringing in the ears, fatigue, anxiety attacks. Also, people are experiencing dreams when they normally do not dream. So I'm just letting everyone know I did not put up any information today on Earth Changes channel. I'm not concerned about it. And that is why. So before we get started, I think it's a good idea to look at 2021 FM2. It's coming in at 0.2 liter distance and it's only 3 meters, but let's check it out. So when you click on it, it's going to take you to Jet Propulsion Laboratories. I will have the link to spaceweather.com and Jet Propulsion Laboratory. I really would like for all of you to be involved. I can't watch all of this, you know, the earthquakes and the flooding and the rocks. and I don't have any help, but I usually go back one hour and then I double click take it back so I can see it from a distance and then I click on to the big screen so I thought it'd be a good idea to look at this rock it was very small But it's going to come extremely close to Earth. That's not good. That's extremely close. Let's look at it right along in this area. Wow. There you have it. 0 0.2 lunar distance which is about 47,000 miles so I'm going to go back step it back a little bit look at it from a different angle And this happened a few days ago. I wasn't very concerned. And I'm not concerned now. And I'm going to explain why. It's always the debris field. And that particular rock was very, very small. So, Let's check out the ones that are coming by today. So before we get started with 2021 F01, it is connected to the Apollos, like I stated. I have not seen this orbit diagram. I'm just now looking at it, okay? I know it's a Apollos family because they're coming in now. And we're going to look at the condition code, which is 7. That means they really don't know how big it is, what size it is, and approximately the day that it's going to come through. Again, I'll go to an hour, play it back a little bit. And then I'll hit the big screen. So here we are with 2021 FO1 
that is approximately 191,000 miles from Earth. And like I said, this is coming in today. I'm going to change it and step forward and see what we have. I'll go backwards just a little bit. I'm going to change it. Gonna step forward. This is the moon here. So a hundred and ninety one thousand, it's very close. To what they predicted. Go back just a hair. Now, in the previous video, I stated it's the debris field, and when a object is parallel with the orbit of the earth the debris field could be way back up in here now I'm gonna back this up so you can see what I'm talking about okay so all of this area it could be a debris field that's what I'm concerned about I'm not concerned about the rock in general I'm just basically concerned about the debris field. We're going to look at it from another angle. And that's what I'm talking about. This whole area back here could be debris. So we're going to move on and look at 2020 FH and see what that rock has for us all. So before we look at the orbit diagram, I want you to know that this is a Apollo family. 2021 FH. But let's check out the condition code, which is right here. It's condition code 7. Again, anything above 3, they are uncertain about the orbit's pass, how big it is, the velocity, and the entry of the Earth's orbit. So, let's check out their orbit. So, keep in mind that 2021... FH is approximately 52 feet in diameter. And it's coming very close, somewhat about 157,000 miles. I'm more interested in the path and how it's going to line up with Earth's orbit for a debris field. going to zoom in and that's approximately it looks pretty close I'm going to back it up I'm going to look at it again so remember the moon 
and Earth is about 238,000 miles. I'm going to step forward, and as you can see, it's pretty close. I'm going to change the angle. I'm going to look at it from the side. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about, just like in the previous rock. It's basically dealing with the debris field. And now you're going to see what I'm talking about. So this, from here to here, is 238,000 miles. But look at the angle that it's coming in. So we could get debris all through here, and it's going to come right by Earth as far as the debris field, not the rock, no, not the rock. If you look at it, it's going to miss us, right? But if you look at the debris field, no, it's not. The debris field looks like we're going to get hit. So I'm going to back this up. Look at it one more time so we can focus on the other one. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. It's the debris that could be back up in here. That's got me concerned about this particular rock. And it's a very large rock, about 52 feet. So that rock may be traveling with its buddy. More than likely, it's going to have some friends with it. And this video would have been out approximately four hours ago. I do apologize. The reason it didn't get out is because YouTube blocked a very important video dealing with tornadoes. And it kind of double locked me in and I ran out of storage because I was working on this video and the other one at the same time. And now I have to try to get this one up so I can delete it and start on the next video that should be up on Earth Changes channel later this evening. 2021 FP2 is approximately 191,000 miles. It's only nine feet, ladies and gentlemen. So even if it comes in to the Earth's orbit, which it is not, I'm not very concerned with it because it's very small. And what I mean by that, anything below 25 feet, chances are it's going to burn up in the atmosphere. And that's about right as far as the miles. You know, you have the moon, which is right here. And that's about 238,000. So this is 191,000. But the reason I want to focus on this is because of the debris field. As you can see, I'm going to I'm going to go back a little bit. Okay. That's what I'm concerned about right there. This, this Apollo, Apollos are known for having families. And I'm not saying that one's going to come in. I'm just saying I'm concerned about the debris fill. I'm going to go forward. See what I'm talking about? So, I hope that has given everyone a, a better perspective of what's going on. We're going to back it up one more time. But I'm not concerned about it. I'm concerned about the debris field. So before we end the video, I want to show everyone 
that we have 16 meters coming in and this right here is the Sun as well as planet Earth so I'm going to zoom in for you so zooming in is going to give you a better perspective like I stated this is the Sun and this is planet Earth and as you can see like I stated before it seems that planet Earth is a magnet for these meteors so let's check out a few videos that came up this week. There was two meteors that exploded over Indonesia and Cuba that produced a very, very loud explosion. I don't have the information on the size, but the meteor falls into Indonesia's and there's no report of it hitting the ocean. And this is a diagram that can show you approximately where it came in. Somewhere in this area it was seen, but also from a different angle, one was seen just to the east, and it was about 50, about 1.64 feet. I mean, how can something that small produce such an explosion, like I reported before, the last one that came over North America was the size of a bowling ball, and it registered on the Richter scale. As you can see, it was a pretty good explosion. It turned night into day. But this is a map that shows you the indication of the location. But for something to be that small, to have that much power, makes you wonder. And this occurred in British Columbia. All of this happened over the last two to three days. And the channel reported on it about one that hit, uh, excuse me, that blew up over Canada last week. But this one did hit, ladies and gentlemen. It caused a fire in Canada. And this is a video of it coming in from a different angle. And it starts to break up. So pieces did fall to the ground and from what I understand it did create a fire. Now we have one that came in over Cuba and it too put on a, a dazzling should I say event. Many people saw it and this is a satellite image so it was a pretty big explosion it did come by Jamaica so here's a video clip of it so here's a video clip of it Eastern time was about 10.06 this is another angle so they're coming in more and more and did you notice in that one how it exploded right before it impacted the earth. Look at that. So this is one that came in on the 13th of March in Norway. 
it was a number of people reported it it did make a small explosion this one came in over Brazil on the 19th so this one came in over Russia and that is not a meteor ladies and gentlemen that is a rock and I'm gonna zoom in so you can see the front of it you can see the round object is burning how it's changing colors and there is a UFO something is in front of it there it is again this is from a different angle and as you can see it's breaking up look at that that is not a meteor ladies and gentlemen This is another angle, and it looks like an object with the light going on and off. It could be a UFO in front of it, right there. See how it appeared? There's no spark, so nothing is flying off of the object in the front. There's nothing. So it could have been a UFO, is what I'm trying to say. That's what I thought when I saw it. And this occurred on the 20th of March. But see right there, that doesn't look right. Now I'm gonna zoom in and we're gonna catch it up close. But to me, it just doesn't look right. So I blew it up quite a bit and you can see how it's on fire and in the front you can see it's almost purple but this is definitely not a meteor and as you can see a pulse of light right there so I took the video and blew it up a little bit but you can see there's something in front of it could that be part of the rock that is separated if so wh why is it not burning why is it any sparks or fire coming off of it it doesn't make sense to me and you can see here in this shot that I blew up it just doesn't look right to me be nice to read your post ladies and gentlemen but to me it you know that object look at that right there that's an object in front of that asteroid and you can see the asteroid is breaking up you can see it right there go in and out it just doesn't make any sense to me but right there is different from right there that's the front of their asteroid so something's going on something is definitely happening but they're starting to come in now ladies and gentlemen the meteors are coming in and this is the first rock that I've seen this year that made it into Earth's atmosphere and right here's another one so be safe everyone you know these things are coming there's nothing we can do about it but pray and be prepared spiritually thank you for supporting the channel I do apologize I haven't been doing videos on this channel because I have a lot going on and I had to take a few days off but thank you for your understanding there's going to be more videos coming. The Trojans are coming. God bless everyone and be safe.